polycythemia vera is a myeloproliferative neoplasm. Um, it's a disease that's um, both chronic and progressive and can be associated with thrombosis, hemorrhage, and progression to myelofibrosis and acute leukemia. Right now, the first line therapy for PV is hydroxyurea, although uh, some physicians and patients will choose interferon alpha, particularly if they're younger, and the idea is to potentially modify the disease course. Um, busulfan, if you are older in age, is sometimes used. Um, but the only FDA-approved drug for second line, if you fail hydroxyurea, is ruxolitinib, which is a, a JAK1-2 inhibitor, um, previously approved for myelofibrosis. Um, this is a drug that is oral. Um, it's given twice a day and has had uh, profound responses in myelofibrosis in terms of improving symptoms and spleen um, and what appears to be a survival benefit in patients who take this compared to patients who don't take this drug. Uh, and polycythemia vera was sort of the natural um, extension of this drug. Um, it was explored in a randomized phase three study called the RESPONSE study, which was the pivotal study that led to the approval. And it was in patients who were intolerant or resistant to hydroxyurea, and there are formal definitions by the ELN for that uh, subgroup of patients. And if these patients had um, continued phlebotomy requirement and palpable spleen, they were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to RUX, 10 milligrams twice a day, or best available therapy in which um, many patients actually continued on hydroxyurea. Uh, the primary endpoint at 32 weeks was a composite of spleen reduction and symptom score reduction, which has also been used in various forms in myelofibrosis, and um, sort of not uh, surprisingly, the um, RUX arm was superior, uh, both in, uh, in multiple ways. It was superior in reducing spleen, uh, reducing uh, symptom burden, but also um, negating the phlebotomy need for uh, many patients that receive the drug or at least reducing it. Um, now, whether that affords the patient a true benefit is up for debate, but it met its primary endpoints, it met its secondary endpoints. Um, what it also um, probably showed is that the drug is effective in uh, improving how patients feel with the disease. Um, it's unclear to me because the study wasn't designed that way, um, whether it actually reduces thrombotic risk, which is really the um, the reason why we use cytoreductive therapy in PV. Having said that, um, at 80 weeks there was um, a non-statistically significant reduction in thrombosis in the RUX treated uh, arm compared to the best available therapy. Again, not powered or designed for that endpoint, um, but to keep in mind when you're treating patients um, that, that this is not necessarily a proven thrombotic risk-reducing agent, um, but it's definitely a drug that if you have patients with polycythemia, vera, particularly symptomatic patients in my mind, those with um, refractory aquagenopritis or spleen-related complaints, fatigue, bone pains, headaches, things of this nature, ruxolinib is a reasonable option if hydroxyurea particularly is not working.